everybody this is Tina welcome to my video today you guys we are jumping into my paper pumpkin for August now this is all I have left of my kit so I have the envelopes I these were the little gift bags and I use them to make a card I'm going to show you guys everything in just a second and then I have some of these embellishments left I totally forgot that I had these little note cards so I didn't use those and then I have some embellishments left so let me dive in and show you guys the kit this is the kit for August and these are the items that you can make there we go some cards different size cards some little like these are not gift bags, but little gift tag things. So let me just be honest with you guys. I did not like this kit at all. I didn't like the designer paper type stuff. I didn't like these little envelopes, but I really did love the stamp set, which is a lot of times that happens where I'm not crazy about the project maybe, but I love the stamp set. So I always feel like it's worth still getting. So let me show you guys what I did um, first with all of the product. I made some cards. Hopefully I'm going to make two with you guys. So what I found is it really needed some, a solid paper. Like that's what made it better. So I start with a thick piece of whisper white cardstock. That's going to be my card base. And then I just grabbed some early espresso cardstock, which is one of my favorite colors that Stampin' Up! offers is the early espresso and that helped it. So right here, we're going to put everything on the card base in a minute, but we're going to zoom in here and I'm going to put together a card for you guys. So these items right here, this was an, it was a little bit larger and I cut it down. And then this piece was another card base. So this was just a regular size four and a quarter by five and a half size card. It was already scored. So what I did is I just trimmed this piece down. You guys have seen me do that a lot when I get these kits and they have an entire card base that is one color. Oftentimes I will trim it down to get more use out of it. And that is definitely what I will do with this. This is a really pretty design. And I'll just, instead of using this as a card base, because it already has the score in it, and so you can just use it as a little note card. Instead of doing that, I will trim this down and actually be able to use this design because this is a pretty design and I like it. So I went ahead and did that with this piece, and then I trimmed this piece down a little bit. Now, I'm not a big fan of Cajun Craze, which is what this color is, but I've been using a lot of it in the last few weeks. It's like it's that time right where fall is coming and it's a great color so I'm not sure exactly what I didn't like about this kit maybe it was the colors together I feel like it just needed a little something else like it just needed another color so adding this early espresso was a perfect um, choice so what we can do is just this is going to be really simple this is one of the uh, more simple cards that I did when I just first opened up the kit and I just started kind of playing with the product. So my mojo has really been gone. My creative mojo just has not uh, been around. I have been desperate for it, but it just hasn't been around. And I think it's because I have a lot of the holiday stuff from the holiday catalog. Like I'm getting ready to play with that and create projects for later on in the season and then but I'm not really using that product yet on camera so I feel really torn I don't know if that happens to you guys if when you get a lot of product if you get overwhelmed and then it's kind of like I feel like my mojo kind of goes on vacation so my paper pumpkin kit is a great way to kind of get back into it get back into the swing of things and have something that I can create that I know is going to turn out pretty cute already because everything's ready for me and it kind of just helps me get creative again. So I'm just adding this right to the middle of the card and I'm hoping that that's okay. I, I didn't want to get my head in the middle of it. And then I had a couple other pieces from the kit. I had this and what I did is I just took the Cajun Craze and you can use any of the stamps in here. This one says thanks. I think I used hello on one of the other ones I'm going to show you. But I just stamped that in Cajun Craze. And my stamp pad could definitely use a re-inking. 
but then the stamp is also kind of that smudgy look like that distressed look so keep that in mind so I'm just going to add this right on here on the bottom I try to use my grid mat to keep things lined up but I'm not directly over this card so it may not be perfect hopefully you guys will forgive me okay so then there's this little die cut that they have on here and um, you can use snail on this or sometimes I'll use a glue dot that kind of helps it stay on well and then of course you guys know if there's a flower involved there's gonna be a rhinestone in the middle it's my go-to thing right so then this can just go on the white card base and then I don't feel like it's hard for me to write inside the card. You could even uh, trim a quarter inch off the early espresso color and have a little bit of that white showing. If you did that, you might wanna use the cream color cause this is a cream color right here. So this was the first one I did and I'll show you, it's this one right here. So you can see that I already did one. And you see I used the hello and I used early espresso to stamp that hello. But super cute, right? Like add something when you add that early espresso. So now we have this one here and we had all these cute pieces in here, right? So what I wanted to do, here's the card base that we're gonna use in just a minute. Let's use this too. Let's go ahead and just trim this down. This is gonna be three and a half, and I think it's gonna be by five, because it's a note card. So now we can layer this on here, and that will work just fine. But I have these pieces here. So I took an eighth of an inch off this, which was just a normal piece in the kit. And then this was a normal piece in the kit. And so I just wanted this to show a little bit more. So that's why I took that eighth of an inch off there. So you could do a couple things. So the first thing we can do is just add this to this piece. I wanted that border to show a little bit more. So I just trimmed an eighth of an inch off there. And then I just took some early espresso and I can put this right on here. Now there's two different things that you could do with this piece. There's lots of different things you could do with this kit, but uh, when I was playing around, I thought there's two different ways that I could do First this. First one is you can take this piece, cause there's another little banner piece, and we can just put this right over it and layer it like this. And I'll show you the sample I did of that. Or you can that take on a block and then I there's also this little floral piece you'll see it when I stamp it so what I was doing was I was stamping that in black just so it would show up really well on this craft piece but I love this little corner floral piece and I think it'd be beautiful for water coloring so then let's take the early espresso And we can stamp this right on here. We're going to overlap those flowers a little bit. Hopefully it's pretty straight. It is. It's pretty straight. Okay. So then we can stick this on here. And then we'll stick it right on the card. But I want to do one other thing. Now this would look fine. You could do this and then layer it onto your white cardstock. But this kit also comes with this really pretty burlap. We're going to do a couple things. And it also comes with this baker's twine. So I'm going to put a bow together. We're going to tuck it behind and we're going to finish out the card. So when I get back, I'll show you how I've done that. All right, so here's this piece with the burlap behind it. All I've done is tape it back there. And then I'll use regular adhesive, quite a bit of it, to go right over that tape. I just used scotch tape. And then we'll put it right on this piece. I have foam on the back of this. Go on our early espresso card base. It's at an angle just so I can get it centered. Just like that. And then I'll put this on a white card base. And then that's another card. So there's that one. And then I did this one the same way where I have that early espresso and the burlap. And then you can see it's different with the flag right there in the middle which looks still just as great or you could just use these as tags 
So then I did, this is the card that I did with these little baggy things that I didn't like. I just punched circles with my circle punches like in different sizes and then I you know popped some up a little bit and then I did some on flat and then I also added some rhinestones and then this circle is an item that came in the kit so then I just stamped thanks on there and then it's on a card base and then I did this one with a little note card and then same thing here I just layered it the same way but I used that note card so I still have several of these pieces left I always like having pieces left over for my kit because I use them in other places. These would be great for Project Life. So I just wanted to mention really quickly, you guys, that right now, if you would like to join Paper Pumpkin and you've never joined before, there is a buy one, get one free promo code right now. So you can sign up to get the monthly subscription box. You use that buy one, get one promo code. I will put it right here. And your second box you'll get for free, which is great. You can always unsubscribe after you get that second box. So you will have paid $20 and you would have gotten two boxes. So that's amazing. But here's a really fantastic deal, you guys. I always feel bad when a promotion is for new subscribers only because I feel like what if you subscribed before and you weren't sure about it or you didn't like it and things have changed, the boxes have gotten better, or maybe you just unsubscribed, you needed a little break and you wanna resubscribe and there's this great promo going on, but you're not a new subscriber. So if you're not a new subscriber, but you want to subscribe, I will send you a gift. I'm gonna send you these great enamel dots. These are out of the holiday catalog, so you can't even get them yet. So all you have to do is email me and say, I would like to resubscribe. And when you get your second box, I will send you the enamel dots. There's two sheets of these, so it's amazing. They're Halloween night enamel dots. They're beautiful. They're the orange, green, and purple. So over on my coordinating blog post, you can click right up here to get to it or down in the YouTube description. You'll see all the details on how to get the buy one, get one free. So get your second box for free if you're a new subscriber or how to get these cute enamel dots if you are going to resubscribe with me. I have an exclusive Facebook group where I share photos of how to create your kits in many different ways in case you don't like the way the kit comes. It's a great community of people um, where we share our paper pumpkin kits. So, so I would love for you to join. Head down, head over to my coordinating blog post or down in the YouTube description for all the details. So thanks so much guys and I'll be back later this week. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to the very end of my video. I hope if you're new to my channel that you will subscribe. And then I have two other videos here for you guys to check out. They're both paper pumpkin related. The first one is the March paper pumpkin kit where I made cards from that kit. And then the second is the June paper pumpkin kit and I made shaker cards with that kit. So you guys can check those out. And I will be back tomorrow with another project for you guys. And I hope you're having a wonderful day.